Hey, y'all, how y'all doing? How you feel? Really? <laughs> how y'all doing? I hope y'all doing great. Um, so we're back, yes, we're back with Carl Pilkerton. Um, I know I haven't done one in such a long time. It's been, it's been over a year, right? It's been over, yeah, it's been a couple of years, I think. I think. I don't remember, but I haven't done one in a long time because you know, this video, I'm going to keep it real with you. It's copyright. You know, these are copyright videos. So it's like, I enjoy watching them, but at the same time it's like, it's copyrighted. Okay. <laughs> but I'm just going to just do one little short one. This one is called camping. So, oh my God, Carl, Carl is so funny. He is so, so funny. So, uh, let's get straight to it. Oh, chimpanzee, now he's running down a ditch. <laughs> Extracts from his famous diary. Box jellyfish, crocodiles, snakes, blue ring octopus, red black spiders, funnel web spiders, great white sharks. Just some of the reasons that put me off going to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky laugh. Every creature is bigger and angrier than anywhere else on the world. <laughs> I could never get enough of Ricky, Ricky, uh, what's his name? Ricky Jarvis uh, laugh, and Jimmy. Jimmy laugh is funny too. His laugh, yo, they have a very unique laugh. <laughs> I put it down to two things. One, it could either be because spiders and snakes and the like normally hide under rocks. The Earth is one big rock. Australia's at the bottom of the big rock, and they're trying to hide <laughs> under it. Carl, you it? are a maniac. It's You're... just thinking about it, thinking about where spiders go and that, and that works, doesn't it? No. Why doesn't that work like Because there's rock? no real upside down and bottom of the earth, is it? It's all relative to what? It's relative to what? A yeah. map that you well, saw. Well, it's a coincidence, isn't it? <laughs> no, no, right, OK, read on. <laughs> I've heard that a lot of people go camping in Australia, which I think's mental. If I was to fly all that way, I'd want a decent bed. Mm. Plus, I wouldn't be camping in a place where there are killer spiders wandering around. I agree. I've only been camping a few times, and each time I was glad when it was over. The last time was last year in Lyme Regis. Yeah. When did you go camping in Lyme Regis? Last year. It's all right, Lyme Regis. But it was all a bit of a nightmare, because I was going with my mate, and uh, he said he knew someone who knew, knew someone who had a bit of land in the garden. Mm. Um, we had a bit of land in the garden. What's the point, though, in it? You know, what's the point of camping in someone's garden where there's a sort of like a spa down the road and like a pub? no, because you're by the sea, aren't you? It's getting away from it all, seeing the world. It's not if you're in someone's front garden. No, back. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, there's even less to see except <laughs> three fences. No, but it's private. I don't know if I've seen this one before because I did so many, but it do look familiar though. Let's continue. Next. So the thing is, he, he said, oh, it's a great garden, uh, the, the owners are away, mm. and there's a toilet, an outside toilet that they have Getting for like, when they have it, parties yeah. and stuff. Uh, yeah. they call so it we get there, and this lad who knew uh, about this bit of land... Someone's back garden. Well, yeah. Uh, ...said, oh, you can't use it, they haven't gone on holiday. <laughs> so now you're stuck in the middle of a big civilised conurbation called Lyme Regis. Well, how are you going to survive? <laughs> well, we ended up just sort of keeping on the beach. Mm. But, uh, Did you pitch your tent on the beach? Put the tent on the beach. We found somewhere where there was a load of rubbish. So we oh, thought nice. that's the place to go. Oh, yeah, no, the municipal that... tip. What was it? Was it? Was it chemical waste? Oh my just god! Like, uh, no, just um, just syringes and, stuff. and uh, oh, But listen, though, you've got to think true. about that. Rusty, if there's, some, some rusty. If there's rubbish there, it means it was a good place to camp. Why? Why? Because other people have camped there. Right. So that's how you've got to look at it. It's like it's a way. That's like a little tip of. So you um, could have slept in a public lavatory. Yeah, yeah. This one's not. I don't know. When Carl be talking, sometimes he do have you thinking, though. You know, he he did. You know, he did say that he's the type of person he'll sit, you know, and just think about things, you know. And I could just imagine just sitting there, just looking at the wall and just be thinking about a whole bunch of things. He, he and he has you thinking when he tells you his story. He have you thinking like, hmm. you know, maybe he is right. Hmm. <laughs> Ice what is covered in shit. It means other people have had a shit here. <laughs> Welcome to our okay. five star hotel. You'll notice vomit okay, over Ricky. all the fucking walls. So that means people have had a good time here. They got right pissed up and threw their lungs up. <laughs> so that's that's where we put down the tent. We uh, just sitting there. put down the tent there. And then Some what was annoying is he puts down the tent. <laughs> we uh, we what's the name? We uh, it was already up. It, it was already all the way there. They won't let us pack it down. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the weird thing was, <laughs> as soon as we set up, someone... I was like, um... All right, anyway. 
<laughs> people turned up. Oh, that's all the rubbish tip. <laughs> <laughs> Holiday makers, they... Uh, uh, they started setting up their tents. Oh, yeah. oh. No, near... Look, there's some nappies over there. Yeah. Near, near the nappies. And um, they offered us some sausages. Oh, right. My mates, though, ignore them. That's, like, code for uh, swingers. What? Oh. What, so there were some people cooking some sausages, <laughs> yeah. saying, would you like the sausages? We've made too much. And you it's said, no, that's code for swingers. don't talk to strangers. It's like we want to get away from it all. Yeah. We don't want someone... You know, it starts off with sausages, doesn't it? And then so, uh, so you know but, it. but what are these? Yeah, they probably don't want to. You know, some people are like that. You know, they don't want to like have a conversation with nobody. They just want to relax. You know, and they do start off with that. You know, they 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 invite you to get something to eat, and then in, you're stuck there. You got to talk to them for the rest of the day. So I get it. I get it. <laughs> these people look like uh, they were about forty-five. Who are they? That a man and a woman. A man and a woman. So what was in it for the bloke? <laughs> Uh, some people like that, don't they? That I means you, you say, right, I want the bold one, love. <laughs> if it's like wife swapping, should, well, should one of you be a wife? No, but I don't I don't know all the rules and that, but... Uh, He's just got a real thing for fucking oranges. And we didn't want any sausages anyway, so we just sort of I said, don't believe sausages is a code, is a code for swingers. Because <laughs> eventually, how many times do they give someone sausages and they go, well, get your pants off, and they go, well, wait a minute, we just have some sausages. They go, oh, this isn't working, this code. But why would, they, code. why would we be being offered sausages? Because they're nice people and they're making sausages. Yeah, yeah. but... Makes you wonder. We don't, let's not trust these people. Let's move our tent nearer to the corpse. <laughs> <laughs> So terrible, and and it's so funny because Carl, he's not even laughing. He's just sitting there like, okay, y'all go ahead and joke around, but I'm serious. Like he sit there with a, a serious look on his face. He like, and then he's like, I want to continue my story. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, that was the camping. <sighs> that was the camping. September thirtieth, going away with Suzanne's mom and dad. We're meeting them at Madeira Airport as they're flying in from Manchester. The plane was full and I had a headache. There was a baby sat behind us that was crying its eyes out for the whole flight. Oh. The mother of it said it was upset because its ears were hurting. So were mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. It's funny. But then when but then when Ricky start laughing, he makes it even more funny. <laughs> I could never get enough of his laugh. <laughs> oh, oh God. Oh. <laughs> we went to try and find a supermarket. Suzanne's man was having a go at her dad because he didn't have a shirt on. She said he looks a mess and is embarrassed to be seen with him. It's their Ruby anniversary tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I bought a fan to put in our room to drown out the sound of the mopeds. I've heard Wayne Rooney does the same thing with a vacuum cleaner. What? If you've just got a noise um, that's constant, it makes you nod off. And it drowns out every other background noise. So all you've got is, like, if it's a vac, it's just... And if that's constant for, like, all night, mm. you just nod People off. People next door going, they've got their vacuum cleaner on again. But poke, poke the chickens. <laughs> <laughs> that's how nuclear wars start. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. It Doesn't work. We watch plugs, earplugs, drown out everything. I tried them. I didn't like it, did I? Why not? Because I could hear my heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that. If you, I didn't know that. Let me see. I mean, I don't have earplugs, but oh, I I, I kind of understand what he's saying. He don't want to hear his heartbeat. <laughs> I'd rather hear my heartbeat than hear all these noises and on a plane. That is crazy. <laughs> he don't want to hear his heartbeat. <laughs> I'm such a good. strange little creature. Oh, didn't That's do much funny. this morning. Just sat by the pool, saving insects that flew into it. <laughs> How were you like, saving them? Did you wait for them to hit the water, then fish them out, or you grabbed oh, them in the air? Oh. Stuck my finger on the top. They grabbed on, <laughs> lifted it off. And what? When it, like a, some sort of insect lifeguard, you'd see someone <laughs> landing. You go right. That's me. Dun, 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 and you'd go in there. 
But it's hard to turn a sort of a blind eye to stuff like that because you know that's something, you know, you're witnessing death. And if you can save something, you do, don't you? You do your bit. And at night, I'd sort of think... I Damn. I feel like an evil person because if I see a... F annoy if there's an annoying fly in my house and he's annoying and he will not leave my house and he keep buzzing around my ears, I'm sorry. I usually kill them. Now he's making me feel guilty now. Like, I shouldn't kill a fly. Now you're making me feel guilty now. Like... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Ooh, I've gosh. given it to Alison, Damn, or will Carl? he be back, and will he be dead in here tomorrow? But if they can get an extra day, I've done my bit. I can't do more than that. I'm on holiday, do your bit. I'm lucky enough to see the world, do your bit. <laughs> I love your it. Bit. I did my bit. I love it. I love it. I love the fact that he was running around saving flies and things. It's just something, there's something so sort of... Meanwhile, an old lady drowned. <laughs> yeah. Well, he was saving a beetle. Oh, yeah, that was funny. That was the end. That was funny. I miss reacting to, um... I miss reacting to the the Carl and the Ricky show. What was it called? It was, it was called Ricky Gar... Uh, Garves. I hope I'm saying it right. Garves? Is it Garves? Garves show. That's what's the name of it, right? I miss reacting to it, but like I said, it's it's it's, it's, a, it's a long video and it's, it's the copyright that gets to me. So it's like that's why I don't react to it anymore. Um, but uh, I will do like bits and pieces, you know, if y'all want me to. So comment below. Let me know how y'all feel about this, and I'll see you, lovely people. Take care. Bye and peace.